Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today's a bit of a strange one. Um, we had a hot day in Wales. Sorry, I should have got you to sit down before that. We had the hottest recorded day in Wales. Um, it, in my garden it was saying it was about 45 degrees C. Um, I don't know whether it was quite that hot, but I was doing a 3D print for a um, project I was working on, and it just stopped working. The, the 3D printer kept going, but the, the um, filament wasn't getting fed through. There was, there was all sorts of weird noises, and so I had to turn it off partway through, which I've not had to do before. And um, I assumed it was the, because of how hot it got, and I started feeling the um, 3D printer, and it is hot. It was hot everywhere, like all around the entire um, chassis. The whole thing was boiling hot. So I assumed that it had overheated because of how hot it was in the house, and something had gone wrong. So basically, what I need to do now is I need to see if what I believe is correct. And I think what's happened is the filament started to melt before it was getting into anything when it was going through the Bowden tubes and so on and I think it's just sort of clumped up somewhere so basically we just need to unplug it and well hopefully that's what we need to do unplug it and make sure it works um before I get on I'd just like to thank my Patreons Paul, David and Simon you guys are amazing I really appreciate each and every one of you um you've really given me the inspiration to keep going and I really appreciate it if you, any of you guys would like to become a Patreon, all the links are in the description. We do behind the scenes stuff and early access, etc. Anyway, let's get on. Okay, so I got back to my 3D printer and it was the hottest day of the year and it has just filled up this with um, filament and um, the filament had basically broken off. It had just kept it because it started to melt down here. It started getting melty up here and it snapped off. So we're going to have to take a few bits apart now to be able to remove the filament that's stuck in there and then we can do a 3D print. I'm going to start by removing the Bowden tube. What I think's actually happened is, I think it's backed up inside this bit here, to be honest. I'm going to take this off now, the actual extruder, and um, I'm going to then take that part of the tube off, and then hopefully be able to just pull the wire out, uh, the filament, sorry. So there's a screw here and here, So and they use a... nice little hex nut which you theoretically should have had in your little kit it came with the printer Okay, so after investigating, I'm almost sure it's a blockage just here. So we're gonna do a little bit of jiggery poker in, and we'll hopefully be able to get into there because you can see, um, possibly, on the actual um, gear, there's loads and loads of filament that's been scratched off, and it's basically started to get hotter and hotter and hotter, and then this bit's just filled up. There we go. And that there is about three times thicker than it should, well, about twice as thick as it should be. Um, I'm not sure if that shows up too well on the camera, to be honest. Right, right. First things first, I'm gonna connect this back up um, and then I'm gonna turn the whole thing back on again. Next I'm going to preheat ABS, although this is actually only PLA, because what I want to do is get it hot enough that I can just remove it without too much problems. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to attempt to pull this out. We're going to need to take this off again. So out comes the clip. Right, I'm holding it up as straight as I can. I'm going to attempt to take out the filament. There we go. Right, clip back on. And I'm going to put everything back together again. Okay, all fixed now. Um, I'm going to get a 3D print on now to just, you know, test it, make sure there's nothing clogging anywhere else up. Um, don't forget to put zip ties back where you took them off from if you had to take them off. It just keeps everything, um, like, out of the way. You don't want things getting in the way when you're printing. But that should be it sorted. Okay, so thankfully it was just an easy fix because I haven't got it in money so I couldn't have afforded to actually buy anything new and I did think at one point I might have to. So hopefully that has helped you guys out. If it has, brilliant, leave a like, comment, whatever. Uh, if you are interested in becoming a Patreon, all the links are in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.